Hi everybody, it's Vanessa from the library and I'm here with my son Ben and today we're going to talk about static electricity. Um, what is electricity? Do you know Ben? Um, electricity is something that gives power to lights and that kind of stuff. That's right, yeah. Electricity powers our homes. So whenever you flip a switch and turn on the light, there's electricity flowing through a wire into the light bulb. Um, this is really simplifying it quite a bit, but in, in that wire, there are little invisible things called electrons. Um, here's how they get to our house. This is a picture of a power pole, and you see these everywhere. If you're paying attention outside, you'll see these lines um, running from pole to pole, and some of them running right into your house. And some of those lines are telephone lines, and some of them are internet lines, and some of them are providing power to our houses. It's like a little road that the electrons can travel on. So um, let's see here, has this, here's an example of static electricity. I don't know if that's ever happened to you in the summer, going down a slide or at a party, if you have a balloon and you rub a balloon on your head and your hair sticks to the balloon and stands up. That works every time. Yeah, that's, um, that's called static electricity. And the reason for that is that electrons, uh, they're kind of like kids on a bus. Okay, so stay with me here. So say there's a bunch of kids waiting for a bus and the bus goes down the street and the bus is super crowded. There are tons of children already on there. There's nowhere to sit. Do, do you as a child wanna get on that bus? No. No, you wanna wait for the next bus that comes, which maybe is empty and has a whole lot more room on it. So electrons are like that. They don't like to be squished together and they don't like to be too crowded. So they're always trying to get away from each other. Um, and what's happening here is when you go down this slide, um, it's plastic and the rubbing of your pants against the slide is going to build up electricity and the electricity is going to try and get away. And what it's doing is it's the electrons are going in each individual strand of your hair and they are pushing away from each other. And that's why you get that funny look. I actually have a better picture of that. Here's a little boy at a museum with his hand on something that is generating electricity. Look at his hair. It just wants to, <laughs> the electrons in his hair are just desperate to get away from each other. So these electrons are everywhere, even though we can't see them. And today we are going to build a little machine that, oh, before we do that, here, I have another picture. Ben, what's this? Um, that, that's lightning. That's lightning. That's a picture of a lightning storm. And a, lightning is another way that you can see static electricity in action. And what's happening here is the electrons are building up in the clouds and they're pushing to get away from each other. And they're finding a path down through the earth. So the, the lightning is like a path for these electrons that want to get away from the other electrons in the cloud following the path down to the earth. So we're gonna build a machine today. It's called an electroscope. And it, the first thing that you need, you can do this at home. You need an empty bottle. So we've got one there. You need uh, a piece of wire. We've got a piece of copper wire, but really any wire will do. Copper will work the best if you've got it, but if not, any type of wire will do. Uh, that's made out of metal. We also need a little sponge and two pieces of tin foil. Okay, so Ben is going to, so what we do, you take the wire, you bend one end into a fish hook. Can you show them that Ben, what that looks like? One end is kind of like a little fish hook there. And the other end is a coil. We've coiled it up. You can wrap it around your finger to coil it up. Then you're gonna take two little pieces of tin foil. They're about half inch by an inch and a half big. And they have to be the same, and you want them to be nice and flat, not crinkled and stuck together. So nice and flat. You're gonna put them together. But make sure that they're not crumpled so that they're free to move apart. And now? That looks pretty good. Then you're gonna hook them over the hook. Yeah, just thread them through, Make a, just poke a little hole in them. Okay, make sure that they're nice and flat together. There you go, that looks pretty good. And then you're gonna carefully 
insert them through the neck of the bottle. Now this is where the sponge comes in. The sponge is to stop the wire from touching the, the mouth of the bottle. So you're gonna wrap the sponge around the wire and stuff it in there. That looks pretty good to me. Now we're looking and I see that nothing is touching. The wire's not touching the bottle anywhere and the pieces of tin foil are not touching anything either. They're just dangling there. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some, some electrons. I have here a piece of felt. Um, you can even use your own hair. You can use anything you like to charge up this balloon. Balloons are things that like to gather a lot of electrons on their surface. So when we rub the balloon on the felt or on Ben's head, it'll have the same purpose. We're gonna put lots of electrons in this balloon. Now we can't see them. So this, the machine we've built is called an electroscope and it's gonna let us see the static electricity. Okay, Ben, put that right here. Actually lift it up. Let's take, let's get this out of the way. Okay. So oh, look our at, balloon. Look at the bottom. Yeah. Oops. Ooh. You just discharged all the electricity. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> we will do this. Did you hear that little shock when you did that? Yeah. Okay. Because you made a path for the electrons to get away from I'm the balloon. I'm sorry for making the path. That's Mom. okay. We'll do this again. Now, what do you think is going to happen as we move this balloon close to our electroscope? Well, electrons want to get away from each other, so. That, and then it's not strong enough, so it's just going to push those two things apart. That's right. It looks like they're already pushing each other apart. The electrons are going to go from the balloon, travel down through this wire into our pieces of tin foil, And, oh, can we, let's see, we'll move it up closer here so we can see. All right, here I am. Here, I'm going to move. move. Can you see that? Um, hmm, it's hard there. to see the light. Okay, let's try this. Here, can I'm you see? Try. Oh, look, they're moving. Look, as I move the balloon closer, the, look at that. Close, far away. Close, far away. So just like your hair is pushing to get off your head, the electrons are pushing through, pushing the pieces of tin foil apart from each other. There we go. Looks like we've lost a bit of charge. But anyway, that is how an electroscope works. Um, another thing you can do that's kind of fun, you can use pieces of styrofoam if you rub them on felt or wool or carpet, oh. you will charge up the the, uh, the styrofoam and you can hopefully, let's see if my hair is dry enough. My well, hair? We can't really see Could it. Could you try my hair? Sure. Your hair, oh, I saw a little bit sticking there, yeah. Okay, take the balloon. Um, another thing you can do is get little pieces of paper like confetti. I'm gonna just rip up some little pieces of paper while Ben's charging the balloon. And the electrons in the paper are gonna be attracted to the electrons in the balloon. And let's see what happens here. I'm just gonna rip up these tiny little pieces of paper. Ben's putting a really good charge into that balloon. I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay, just a sec now. I'm gonna point this down so that we can see the paper. Okay, okay, hold the balloon above the paper and watch what happens. Oh, there, it snapped up some of the pieces. Yeah, and if you have really small pieces of paper, like from a hole punch, the um, the paper will actually jump up and stick to the balloon. One second, I think I can get a hole punch. Okay, that's all right. Well, thanks very much, everybody. And um, that was our little talk about static electricity. I hope you understand a little bit more about it. And um, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.